Hey friends, it's Robo Monsto. Battle Royale action has returned. We are at three wins, one loss. We gotta go on a crazy streak. I want to get Anthony Rendon. I want to plug him in, throw away the key. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, making sense is overrated anyway. Let's talk about that today during the game. But first, let's get into one. The Gizmos are playing the Bandits, led by Matt Kemp and Chris Bryant. They've also got Evan Gaddis, who does damage uh, when he's not on my team. We want to get that Rendon card. We want to keep this streak alive. We want to keep it going. That's important to me, and I hope it's important to you too. Now, what were we saying earlier about making sense? Making sense certainly helps. Uh, that way people can understand you, but what if you don't make sense? Should people hate you for it? What if you're like the David Lynch of people, where you kind of make sense, but not really? Sometimes you make sense more than other times, but overall you're just kind of nonsense. I think I need to make less sense in the world. Oh, baby. It's two in a row. If I'm to make less sense in the world, people will be like, well, he's a challenging person. Robo Monsto. Oh, he's challenging. He was telling me about, uh, you know, shoes for like three hours yesterday. I had no idea what he was saying at all. He makes no sense. Puig and I have a, a love-hate relationship. Um, he does things wrong, and I hate him. And then he does things amazing, and I love him. But he's been doing a lot of things better for me as I've gotten used to him. I think he might be one of those guys that I just had to kind of wear in. Go home, go home, go home, go home. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're in. We're in. All right. Eraser head. Oh. That's actually a good movie. I mean, yeah, it doesn't make any sense, and it's pretentious as all heck. But the 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 chicken stuff, and you know, all the all the the pregnancy terror that he was going through. You know, the growing up and 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 having to be more responsible in life. All things that you can that you can understand. But you know, in the end, it just didn't make any sense. All right, drag bunt. Come on. Oh yeah, baby. Bonifacio is safe. All right, good. Now that's not bunt cheese. That's just that's just been a Bonifacio, being Bonifacio. Ooh, Jason wanted that one bad. He was all over it, wasn't he? Oh, he was. Whew. Yeah, I mean, Eraser had in the long run, it's nonsense. But there are those little parts of it that that you do identify with, and I think that that's that's important. And if the movie hits you at the right time in life. It doesn't matter what it's about. If there's even a second of anything in it that reminds somebody of something that's going on in their life, you got a fan for life of that movie as a director. Oh, he went. All right, Matt Kemp's up. We got to be careful here. Make that play, Pedro. Good play. He is dicey in the field. I should know. Being a Pirates fan, I've seen my share of Pedro weirdness. All right, we got a man on first with one out. We need to be careful here. PV's been here before. Get that double play. Throw it! Oh, I, I, I could have sworn I queued up that throw to first, but... If that's what they want to say, I'll have to deal with it. Let's just go to first. Get Gaddis. All right. After two, it's still 2 nothing. Ooh. Jim Edmonds really, really wants a pitch over the plate. He'll swing at anything right now. It's definitely not my fault. There we go. Are we a little too late on that one? Oh, get up! Get up! Yes! That was a nice That was a nice effort to catch that home run, but Jim Edmonds a little too strong for that. Now, Puig. Let's, let's make it back-to-backers. I know Puig really wants a back-to-backer right now, and I want to see that happen for Puig. I'm rooting for you. Oh, that would have been the pitch. Chased? I didn't chase that pitch. It was in the strike zone. Yo, there we go. Not a home run, but he's on base. He's making trouble out there. And that's all that matters to me right now. 0-2 count to Pedro Alvarez. Man on first. Oh, that's right at him. Is that a double play? Mmm, that's tough. All right, Peavy. Let's get this bum out of here. 
catch that. There we go, buddy. One down. PB's been pretty efficient so far. We're gonna we're gonna leave him in against Ryan Howard. We're gonna give Ryan Howard some high cheese to swing at first. There we go. Stay in play. Stay in play. There we go. That's how you get Ryan Howard. Okay. We're down. He's down to his last out. Francisco Cervelli, who's feeling it right now, so we gotta be careful. Let's change his eye level a little bit here after that first pitch. Okay. Just setting up the low pitch, letting them know that we know it's there. There we go. Good pitch. Now, the PV curve. All right. One and two. Two outs. We're going to give him an inside fastball. Ooh, that one right down the plate. Got to be careful with that. The timing was way off. That was all my fault. Could have got myself in plenty of trouble. Inside fastball, strike three. As far as I'm concerned, four wins, that's my that's my personal record. Battle Royale. It's been it's been good to me this this time around. Our player of the game is Jake Peavy. Well deserved. He he went out there and threw a heck of a game. Well, all right, everybody. I thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, if there's anybody that you know that can get me out of space, have them give me a call. I love all of you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>